Hi friends, today's video is a huge unboxing and a haul and I'm also just including an unbagging of Dollar Tree stuff over here. I thought why don't we just merge it all together and see if y'all like that. So I'm going to do this unboxing and this shopping haul but I'm going to do the shopping haul first. So if you enjoy videos like this or you enjoy momhood videos, lifestyle videos, workout videos, please be sure to subscribe, like this video to show me a big thumbs up if you support the channel. And I, without further ado, will go ahead and start unbagging. The first thing that I had done was go on to Dollar Tree. We do have a two-year-old birthday party coming up, so a lot of the items in here are going to be used at his birthday party. Also, almost forgot, daily nail check. It's all black, and then on the ring finger that on both ends is gray. So, without further ado, we're going to do the Dollar Tree one. I got these for the goodie bags. Last year I did goodie bags for the adults. This year I'm going to be doing the same thing. It's just gonna be a little um, less of an option. There won't be 40 this time. I'm gonna do like 30 and see who grabs them. Cause last time I was chasing people down to make sure they got their goodie bag, which I don't wanna have to do. So we're just going to do, I got three bags of that for the goodie bags for the adults. We got fake coins for the kids goodie bags. The kids, of course, will get really good goodie bags, but the adults, I just decided they'd like stuff like uh, blowers. A lot of people enjoy that. Paper straws. So I got paper straws for the goodie bags. Some more paper straws. These have 20 in them, so that's a really good deal because you can put one in each bag, and then I have 12 in each of those. You know me and my fake nails, so I had to get fake nails. So I got this cute fake nail. I got fake toenails this time, too. I wanted to try it out, see how it was. There was a new type of item I've never seen before called Be Pure at Dollar Tree. So I was like, it's pressed face powder and I was really excited because I'm like, I really want to try this, see if it works. I needed pressed powder anyways. So I'm going to try that one. I got some forks, which I know a lot of people say don't buy silverware from the Dollar Tree. They also say don't buy batteries. But I, I use these batteries for some stuff that I don't really use that often. And then I use more of their silverware just for their forks because that's like their best thing that I like to get. I also got lens wipes for glasses or phones. I use them for both. That was our first bag. And then we are getting right into some more stuff. This is a big juice. I always like to get Jace a juice when I go there. He loves different types of juices. So this time I got mango tangerine and I was excited about that. He'll enjoy that for sure. And then in our next bag, we have these sandwich baggies. I needed new oven mitts. Mine were kind of going uh, nasty from like the pots and stuff, holding all the stuff. I got more table covers for his birthday party two of them in that dark green still. If you've seen my previous video where I talked about Dollar Tree haul, I had done that before in my other Dollar Tree haul. I got a second thing of this, a dino tail for his chair at his birthday. I thought that would be cute. And then I got more of these snack bags. I always get Ziploc baggies there and I might be getting a better deal at Walmart if I did it at Walmart, but it's all about convenience, which isn't good, but I am going to start budgeting and figuring that out in a little bit later down the line in my life. I got these really, I was like, what? They have signs? It says let's party and they go into the ground and I got two of them. I was shocked to see these at the Dollar Tree. I'm sorry, but signs like this are usually really expensive. So I was excited. That was a good, good one that I got. I got another chair decoration, two blue dino tails to go on to his things, of uh, the little chairs. I got cotton pads. I always get cotton pads from Dollar Tree. It is cheaper to get cotton pads at Dollar Tree. And then I got the biggest things that they had of gift tissue paper to put in the goodie bags. So I have 35 white sheets and then 20 of this glittery, more girly type tissue paper. I always used to get tissue paper every time I went, but then I changed it up and didn't get it every time and just here and there. I got earrings for whatever reason. I was like, I really need to fill up a lot of the holes because I had lost earrings. So I thought that would be good. A little bit more toenails. And then I also got this deodorant. So I believe there's one more bag here. For the adult goodie bags this year, I also wanted to add these shot glasses. 
as you can see I go for items that have like 20 or more in it so this has 24 in it and I got two different colors just green and red so that it, even male or female that picks up goodie bags they won't be like oh it's a pink cup you know it'll be red some more snack bags I always get baggies out there another set of stick on toenails mini serving trays this comes with a lot, so I was wondering what I could do with this. I think we're just gonna use it at home for like ketchup and stuff and then reuse it. And then we also got, I wanted to get a 4th of July scrunchie because it's almost here. And I was like, I, I love having festive scrunchies in for holidays and this is really fun. I know it's kind of a waste of money because it's only once a year, but I was like, I usually like to do something cool for different holidays and that was just the only thing I bought for 4th of July. One more set, I think I already showed this one, but yes, this is another set of toenails. Last but not least, we got two things of aluminum foil because aluminum foil at Dollar Tree is a really good deal. I was looking online at different aluminum foils they had and they were so expensive. I'm like, aluminum foil is this much money? No wonder why I always had gotten it from Dollar Tree. So the next boxes, we have Grove, Amazon, and we also have a Petco box. And I kind of want to start with the Petco box just because it is a little bit damp from the incident that we had in the office in the office we had a fish tank which we still have the fish tank and it had it was on a table and the table collapsed so when it collapsed it ended up causing water to go all over our floor and it got on some of the stuff that I had um in the room and it was it's very stressful because you know it's it costs a lot of money to try and fix that type of stuff but right now I'm just doing carpet cleaner and I also use the powder sprinkle stuff that you can sprinkle. If you have any like tips or tricks on how to get your carpet back to smelling good after like a ton of water, especially fish tank water spills all over it, let me know down in the comments. It's super embarrassing but we also that's why I'm not filming from that angle because we still have to get the carpet all together. But without further ado, let's do the Petco box so that we can see what we got. And it is hard to open, so we're just gonna take a second to open this. So the first item on top is going to be the hay for the guinea pigs. They had finally ran out after I had stocked up, so I assumed might as well continue our stock of hay. And that looks like that's our only item in the Petco box. So that was a short unboxing. I didn't realize how big this bag is, but this is a 94 ounce of hay, Timothy hay for the guinea pigs. So that was the only thing in that Petco box. Now I will do my Amazon hauls. One thing I wanted to point out was the slippers I have on also came in a different box. But I, I was like, I wanna use these now. So I unboxed it early, which was bad because I like to show everybody what I get. But this is a slipper and it has dusters on the bottom. And it is such a good and fun cleaning hack. So if you just want to walk around your house in these slippers, it also comes right off and you can just pop it into your washer machine. So I have these on right now because I'm trying to clean while I do all this. But yes, that was one of the items that I had received that I didn't unbox in a video. And another one was this gamer lunchbox for Jace for school. And if you open it up, it has just like an insulation in there. It's kind of mild insulation, so it's not going to help out much. But I always put like an ice pack in there, but they have a fridge there too, so... They don't really need my help because they just pop it in the fridge. So I wanted to show you those two items that I had gotten from Amazon as well. But we also can jump right in to the unboxing of the other couple items that we had received from Amazon. I got these sippy cups for Jace. These ones have a different type of nipple that I thought maybe he'd like better than the other sippies. So that's our first item. And then we also got a two pack of bento box. And I'm hoping, actually, that this will fit inside this lunchbox. So, one second, I'm gonna grab this. Obviously, there's a two pack, so we're gonna open it and see if it fits inside of his lunchbox. And I do order from Amazon a lot, so sometimes I forget what I, what I buy, which is super bad, and that's why I'm an Amazon addict, and I will admit it, and I have to work on that. It does have a little spoon in there as well. And you could just pop it inside their lunch bag. And I also can add like a fruit juice in there or a pouch, whatever I want to do, because there's plenty more room. So I'm really excited to see that this all fit actually, because 
I was hoping it would. So that was the bento mini boxes. These are not the full size boxes. You can buy bigger ones on Amazon. I just got the minis because I knew that that would be the best size for the lunch box that I had bought. Now we have an Amazon bag. This one's kind of heavy, so I wonder what this is. Oh my goodness, it's more aluminum foil. So I did buy aluminum foil from Amazon this time and it was very, very expensive. So I would not recommend buying aluminum foil online. I would always recommend going to Walmart or just going to your local Dollar Tree and that's the cheaper way to do it. But I didn't know if I was gonna go to Dollar Tree, but I did, so this was actually two pounds of aluminum foil, which will come in handy because we use aluminum foil all the time, but that's okay. Our next item in here is labels for daycare. I got command strips for hanging up pictures. And then last but not least, I got little sticky dots to help me with little organization in my drawers. Cause when you open it, I have kind of like bins in there that hold certain items and it's organized and it's labeled. And when you pull out the drawer, it sometimes will move. These sticky dots will help to prevent that, but they have other uses too, but I'm gonna use that. You can use it for crafting, decorating, or you can use it to hold your bins in place for when you open drawers. So I think this is the last Amazon box up here. So we are going to grab it. It's kind of heavy. So, excuse me. It says that it was 23.6 ounces. <laughs> I can hear it already. It's some, it's food for the guinea pigs. And I like to get them two different types. I get them Fiesta blend, which isn't very good for them. So I also get Oxbow to always mix in. So this was the Oxbow food. This one's 10 pounds. And then we also get the Fiesta blend for the guinea pigs. Sorry if it's moving the camera when I put, put it on the ground. It's just a little bit heavier. So it makes kind of a bang. Last item that I got for the guineas was the Critter Litter. My guinea pigs are potty trained. And how I did that was you just put a little tray, whatever tray you want them to eat and go to the bathroom in, because guinea pigs will eat and they'll go to the bathroom at the same time. So if you want to kind of makeshift when they go potty, because they are only about 90% of their poop always ends up in that bin. One, I have a kitchen area. I have another video on YouTube actually of MTV Cribs guinea pig style. And it shows you the kitchen that area. And then they have a litter box area that I put their hay in put their hay in their fresh hay like holder. And then they also had the whole tray. So I go to the bathroom on while they eat their hay. And then when you go to the kitchen area, they have that whole setup with the Aspen bedding and they go to the bathroom, they eat, they drink, they do whatever they want to do. And then there's an upper loft where they hang out. Sometimes a good 8% of the poop lands up there too. None of it's ever on like the main part though, which I love. It makes cleanup so much easier. So nice fun fact. Critter litter, always a good go-to. Our last but not least part of our unboxings today is Grove. I love to use Grove here and there. I don't have a monthly subscription with them, but I do think they have enough items on there that if you are really into natural cleaning items or just getting toilet paper delivered straight to your door, like I like, that's always a good thing to get. I'm not ripping this up very, very good. I did not cut anything before because I like when people I don't see many YouTube videos where they open it with you. Like they already have it pre-opened or they already went through it, which I get helps with like preparation, but it's okay. We'll just go through it together because that's always fun. There's a box inside of a box. So one minute, I'm gonna open this up. I think this is the toilet paper because the toilet paper always comes in its own bin like this. So we're just gonna open this up now and I'm gonna see what is in it. But yes, I do believe it is toilet paper. It's another, I think another bag or box that this comes in. So it looks like that. It has a little card in there that says, pardon our packaging, please. We thoughtfully craft our products. And so it comes with tissue paper, which I'm actually gonna keep for his birthday party. So I'm gonna put that up here. And then it comes with, oh, it's not just four, it's eight teepees. So I got eight to toilet papers. And then I also have one more bin from Grove, which we're gonna open together. And this one's big, so I think it has the rest of the items. I don't remember exactly what I ordered, but I know that they gave me a free gift with this one because it was over $45, I believe. 
So we're gonna open this up. When you open it up, it has the paper. And then it has my paper towel that I bought from them. So we're just gonna take that out. Paper towel. Then it's seventh generation. Then when you open up this, this I believe is the free gift. So this is a free gift and it is safer for people, pets and the planet, non-toxic, and it's a plug-in hub warmer kit. Oh my goodness, it's lemon leaf and thyme and it smells so, so good, especially for spring. It smells very fresh. And now that I have that, um, that stuff with the fish tank, the nasty smell on the rug, I think I'm going to plug this in in here to help with the smell. So I also had gotten dryer sheets. I'm actually not gonna use this in our dryer at all. I saw a hack online, cause I love life hacks, and she had used it to clean like all of her, not billboards, the liners on the bottom of your floor. I don't remember the name right now. I'm gonna regret this later, but the liners of your floor, that white like bottom part, she used this on there and it made it look really, really good. So I'm gonna give that hack a try and then I'm going to see if it works. So we do have an item wrapped in here. I'm gonna see what it is. Grow Strong Biotin Supplement for Hair and Nail Growth. This had really good reviews. I'm just gonna give it a go. It wasn't too pricey. It was like $19.99, I remember buying this. And I was like, wow, that's pretty inexpensive. And let's see, they have this bigger shape to it. So I was like, okay, we're gonna give that a go. Everyone needs some hair growth, right? And I love using hair, you know, scalp, scalp stuff and hair growth. So I also got an Ali Goodbye Stress. I'm gonna give that a go. That was only $14.99, that was cheap. So anything that's like super affordable that I wanna try, I'll just give it a go. So that's why I got that. This warmer I'm gonna keep in here, so I'm gonna leave it over there. And then, I think we just got a lot of paper. I'm just tossing paper. This floor is covered in brown paper now. But that's okay, we only have one more item in here, so I'm just gonna leave the rest in the box. I need to break down these boxes and put them outside. But the last item I got, I'm a Burt's Bees lover fanatic. I have a Burt's Bees collection, and this was really cool. I had never seen it before. It was tinted lip balm. So I was excited. This is all the items that I got in all my boxes. I'm sorry that this was a longer video. I hope you enjoyed everything that we got in our unboxings and our hauls today. Thank you for watching these videos. If you do enjoy it, you could always subscribe. I do post almost daily. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.